Southern Mallee Giants footy report. Carmen Shack is with us, even though not in the finals. Uh, he's got uh, plenty which uh, we were going to add uh, to the program in terms of where the Giants are at, uh, what's come out of this season, and as we head towards um, the uh, BNF count uh, for the club too, uh, which will be, of course, um, a, a bit later. But to Coleman, how are you? No, I'm well, thanks, Simon. man. Good to join you. Um, yeah, a bit more extra time on the hands at the moment, so not sure what to qu- not not sure what quite to do. <laughs> you got plenty of farming work uh, to do. I'm, I'm sure that I mean the crop must have with this beautiful sunshine uh, and it hasn't been too much wind. It's probably been a good thing. How's your crops looking? I mean, are we are we talking about uh, canola in flower? Are lupins going in flower? It, what what's it look like at the moment? Um, yeah, things are starting to pop flowers out and heads out um, around the Mallee at the moment. So, yeah, things are looking, looking pretty good. It's a nice sunny day here today, so um, they'll be going flat out, no doubt about that. And, yeah, it's an old yellow all around the district, and, yeah, things are looking, looking nice. So have you done all your sprays? Is that it? Uh, or do you still have to get onto paddocks? Um, there's still some spraying to do? No, there's always spraying to do. You obviously don't talk to enough farmers, I'd say, slow me in. <laughs> Good stuff. I know you love your uh, getting onto the tractor and pulling on that sprayer and uh, and trying to get a bit on Brownie's side of the fence. Talking about Brownie, Zali uh, was, of course, uh, talking about uh, all of the excitement uh, for the netball girls. Uh, Will there be a good crowd of people go down and watch? I reckon there will be. Um, there's, yeah, there was a terrific crowd there last week um, over at Dimboola supporting the girls, and they obviously couldn't quite get the job done um, against the Saints. But, um, yeah, you covered an hour out this week, and, yeah, there'll be some good support there, and hopefully they can uh, get the job done against uh, the Burroughs. Uh, I think they've won one, lost one for the year. No doubt Darley's already talked about it. But, um, yeah, a couple of boys, our senior fellas, went down to train on Thursday night and just uh, had a run around just to put a bit of pressure on um, on the girls. And, uh, yeah, we got our pants pulled down. They were, oh. Steph, Steph was, uh, yeah, um, bullseye up, up uh, in goal shooter and goal attack, and I was just watching it go over my head and... and uh, <laughs> while she was sinking them. So they're in some good form and hopefully get the job done. Oh, well, did you, did Dad, uh, who's coach, of course, uh, did, did he uh, uh, you know, second a couple of footballers to get some contact, a bit of body-on-body body stuff, do you know, uh, hip and shoulder stuff here? Yeah, I think he did. I think he wanted a bit of physicality. So, uh, yeah, perfect opportunity to get a few boys along. Are oh, well, you suggesting uh, that Minute Machaba girls might be a bit, um, a bit physical in the game? Yeah, well, I'm... <laughs> After watching a few games, it's amazing how uh, physical the game of netball is, considering you're not allowed to have any contact in it. Yeah, <laughs> nearly just as physical as the men's game, uh, footy sometimes. <laughs> oh, it's good stuff. Coleman, uh, obviously the season done for you blokes, um, but in reviewing it, um, you came across from the Mallee Footy League, and at that time uh, the amalgamation occurred, um, the um, Bueller and um, Hopeton sides, um, and uh, some you know, plenty of success, uh, Bueller leading up to that era and uh, Hopeton had uh, been uh, for quite a while uh, in the wilderness but uh, what we saw was that Horsham District two big flags uh, massive um, wins and just uh, too good for the sides in that competition so you moved across for two seasons before COVID 2020 into uh, the Wimmera and in those two seasons you made the grand finals but lost them and now in 2021 no grand final to play but played the season up uh, until then and now 2022, uh, you've played well enough, got a good enough side of recruits to beat the best in the game and miss the finals. What does the Southern Mallee Giants now have to do to address that to get back into finals contention in 2023? Ah, uh, yeah, you've hit the nail on the head there, Flo, man. It's been a hell of a journey for the Giants and um, a very successful one, like you mentioned, being. Up the top, and yeah, this is the first year we've missed the final. So um, yeah, we're not going to lie, we're we're disappointed. We know we we um we we let ourselves down there in the middle of the year, dropping a couple of games that we shouldn't. So um, yeah, it's a bit bit of bit of a bit of pill to swallow that uh, we're not um, training in this beautiful weather come finals time and, and playing on the weekend. But um, yeah, we, we um, got some games into some younger players um, in the senior ranks that that is, and um, yeah, hopefully that holds us in good stead going forward and. 
Um, it just yeah, puts a bit of fire in the belly to um, yeah see what you're missing out on, I suppose, that these teams are still running around and, and playing finals footy, which is what you want to do. Um, yeah, and it's a good fun time of the year to be playing footy. So, yeah, fire in the belly, and hopefully you can bounce back next year and um, be a bit yeah, more consistent and, and uh, go a bit further. And when you consider, uh, you say about some uh, younger game time, but uh, you've got um, recruits you've brought in. Uh, so you've had injury has been just uh, plagued by injury, not not just uh, yourself um, and Lou. Um, uh, you know, Lou White was a, a big loss for you too. Uh, but just the one or two game injuries to a number of players, and then the uh, the unavailability of uh, some of your boys through the year. How how do you get the recruits say? And say, look, we've got to get you on the park for all the games. Like these, uh, these, I guess, fly in, fly out situations. Are they helping or are they hindering? No, we're absolutely blessed with um, the travellers we've got coming back. We've been very lucky um, in that regard. They're great fellas. They get, they become a part of the club, get to know everyone, and um, absolutely lucky to have them coming back. So, yeah, we we spend um, yeah a bit of time. You know, we'll have our um, presentation ball coming up in a couple of weeks, so we'll get together there and. Um, yeah, good good chance in the pre-season. We always get together with our camp and, you know, those practice matches and all that. So we're a pretty tight group despite a um, bit of distance between um, the travellers and the locals up here. But, um, yeah, I think that's the sort of special um, bond that we have. We make it work and it's good fun and, and hopefully, that, um, yeah, we can keep the majority on board and, and keep the core group together, which is probably the key to success is keeping the core group together over a period of time I reckon Yeah, medal count of course is um, as we mentioned earlier Nettie is on the 18th of September which is uh, going to be a, a terrific occasion um, as we uh, have a look at uh, the, the games this weekend and I'm going to uh, get your tips um, the, in the senior last weekend um, you've been able to watch sides uh, go around Minute Matoa have gone and beaten Stall 13-684 to Stall 6844. I I felt that, that that was going to be on the cards, Coleman. Yeah, we both uh, tipped the boroughs there from memory, Flow Man. Yep. Um, yeah, Minyup, they are a good final team, a lot of experience there. Still have done very well this year, and um, yeah, that, they sort of, just, when they're both at their best, Minyup have just got too many match winners for Stall, and, and it just showed, I think they had a massive first quarter, Jay McGrath kicked four or five, and, and the game was sort of done by quarter time, halfway through the second, so... Um, yeah, we've sort of seen that one coming a little bit, I think. And yeah, what about the D's? They've had a great finish to the season. They continue with this 11-16 to 6-9. Were you surprised that Dimmy uh, were done by this um, that very powerful D side? Or, or is 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 the Horsham D's, uh, as we said last week, I actually tipped them to beat Dimbulla, but are we looking at the side that uh, could actually go right through and play in the grand final and potentially could even upset either the Ararat or the Minion? Matoa game? Well, they've got a big game this weekend. Obviously, they've got to get through um, Stall first um, to get there, but there's no reason why they um, they can't. They've knocked off um, Arad in the run into the finals to make the finals, and um, they're probably, yeah, the form team of the competition at the moment. So, I'll, uh, I think I'll, I'll tip them again this week to, to knock over Stall. Stall have probably lost a, um, a fair few games in the you know last month of the year in the first final, so they're sort of a little bit out of form at the moment. And Demons are in red hot form, so I'm going to tip the D's for potentially an upset, I suppose, that where they've come from uh, on the ladder positions. But um, yeah, they're just looking hard to beat at the moment. The Demons. Well, Deke Roberts uh, has won medals at the Horsham District and then in at to the Wimmera level, so he's a very very good player. Five goals. Uh, he, he, he's he's a player that now kicks lots of goals. I mean, that's an he's added that string to his bow uh, as his career's um, gone out. Yeah, he's a very uh, um, good player, and I know when we play the demons, we always um, get a match up for him because we know if you let him off the leash, he he can um, bang three or four goals on in in a quarter. So they're the dangerous type players that can take matches away from you and. Uh, he did that to the um, Dimbula Roos last weekend, so I'd say Stall put a bit of work in there, and uh, be interesting to see yeah who comes out on top, and it'll have a pretty big bearing on the on the result, I'd reckon. Sunday game that is. Um, you're going with the Horsham D's, as am I at Alexander Oval. Sorry for the Stall people, but Ararat play Minyat Matoa after the, the Burrows last week. Well, they eased by their opposition. 
Ararat um, had a good finish to the season uh, when, uh, as we know, they um, really did uh, take a lot of uh, sides when we didn't expect it. Um, you guys uh, beat them, but then they beat um, that they were beaten by the Horsham D's, which is no no disgrace at the moment. But I reckon Minyat Matoa might just be in good enough form to beat them here. Yeah. Do you know where this one's played at, GFI Man? It's down at Alexander Oval. Um, uh, sorry, no, this one will be played at, uh, let me have a look. This is at Horsham City Oval. Horsham City Oval. Right, so, yeah, smaller ground. So, uh, that yeah, I'll go with the boroughs as well there. Um, yeah, there's four mare in, like we said before. They've, they've sort of peaked at the right time of the year. And, um, and on that smaller oval, they play a bit more of a contested brand of footy with their... Uh, Luke Fisher in the midfield and, and some tall backs that just cut the long bombs down the line. Um, they've got Tanner Smith and Tim McKenzie that just patrol that half-back line in the air. And um, Ararat are a running team, as we know. Um, so, yeah, smaller ground. I'll back the boroughs in there. Yeah, gee, this, what an interesting finish to the season where we're ending up with, with uh, both the Ararat and Stall. We're tipping against them, uh, even though they've had such magnificent years. It's hard to tip against Mindyip Matoa, that is for sure. Well, Carmen, uh, you got a bit of spraying then to do, but uh, I'll be looking forward to uh, getting your thoughts through this uh, fin- final uh, part of the season in Wimmera football. And obviously, uh, we've talked about uh, the magnificent uh, Giants and how many years you've played in finals this year. You miss out. Everyone takes their turn, that is for sure. Um, in missing out on finals and we look forward to uh, chatting to you next week about to the finals action where the other sides are in and we'll catch up then. Yeah, look forward to it, Flyman. Thank you.